Mount the control box, making sure that it's close enough to attach the cable from the operator arm. There are several places on the control box where screws can be used to mount the box. Mount the battery box next to the control box. You'll find it easier to feed the battery harness cable through the strain relief on the bottom of the control box first. Then feed the cable from the operator arm through the same opening. Connect the operator arm wires to the control box as shown in the manual and tighten the contact screws. Each slot is color coded to indicate the proper color for each wire for your convenience. Make sure the wires are not inserted too far into the slots and that the wire insulation is not interfering with the contact of the wire to the board. Place the battery inside the box. There's room for one additional battery, which is recommended for solar applications. At this point, you may want to check the dip switch options to ensure smooth operation. Please refer to the owner's manual for correct settings. The antenna for the wireless remote will already be attached to the control box. However, you may need to place it in a different spot for better reception. If so, simply unscrew the antenna and use a standard coax television cable to connect the antenna to the box. Now connect your battery harness to the control box. Make sure you connect red to red and black to black. Turn the unit on. You will hear a series of beeps. Using the jog buttons located at the top of the control board, make sure that the unit is operating properly. Once power is active, you will see a green LED light at the top of the board indicating that the system is charging. Below the power status light is a yellow battery condition light. If the light is constant, the battery is charged enough to operate your system. If the light is blinking, the battery is low and you will need to charge the battery before operating properly. Below the battery condition light is the status light, which only activates when the system is performing a function. This video is designed to be used in conjunction with the installation manual which contains detailed diagrams, information, and illustrations not shown in this video. The manual also contains a list of tools and other items you may need for proper installation. Please refer to the installation manual when installing your system.